Well, it is one of the best and certainly the brightest festivals to come to the Midwest. And it's all happening in nearby Milwaukee. It's the spectacular China Lights Lantern Festival opening this Friday night. So here to tell us more is Shirley Walzak, director of the Burner Botanical Gardens, and Hulan Lu, China Lights event manager. Thank you guys so much for coming by. You're Thank welcome. You. you drove in from Wisconsin this morning. We, we did. did. All yeah. right, so it's not too far away, right? No, it's a nice little jaunt over here. Yeah. Okay, so Shirley, tell us what we can expect for this year's big event. Um, this is our second year we're doing China Lights this year, and we have more lanterns than we had last year. Wow. So it's, it's such a color explosion. It looks beautiful. So how's it all set up? Are there paths to walk around? There are paths throughout the gardens to walk around and to see all the different lanterns inside the gardens. It's, it's totally magical when you're seeing the gardens at night and with these bright colored lanterns. So when is the best time to go? We want to get there before sunset? We open the gates at 5.30 and then the sun goes down about it 45 minutes later. So you actually get to see as the lights are on and the sun goes down, they get brighter and brighter. Okay, and it gets bigger each year, right? It is. Um, so last year we have 30 something sets of lanterns and this year we're returning with 46. And it's so, like, so many and so big that it can't even fit in the park. So we put some outside and so that people drive by, they can see it as it well. It attracts them to the event. Exactly. So what was the inspiration for this year's event? Is there a theme? Uh, sure, uh, so Chinese Lantern Festival has a really long history in China and we are doing this in the US right now um, for culture exchange and uh, as a way and and the platform for um, people to see a little bit about China. And uh, we are doing it in, um, for now, it's the 14th uh, state, uh, sorry, city in the US. Yeah, the 14th, wow. And so this is really special to Milwaukee. It is, it's one of the only lantern festivals here in the Midwest for where they've been. So we've gathered people from all around the Midwest area that have come to see us. And there's live performances or how does that work? Yeah, so we have, um, to perform two stages this year. Last year we only had one and more varieties in the shows. Um, it's a combination of acrobats and music and dance from China. So uh, when people come in, it's almost a nonstop uh, show for like everyone every night. Wow, okay, that's so exciting. This is a really great fall getaway idea. I was gonna say it's kind of a great day trip, but um, is there a way to stay overnight? Can you make it into an entire weekend event? You can, there's so much to do in Milwaukee. Um, and this weekend, we're having a special for Illinois, for Chicago people. If you come and you show your Illinois light, um, driver's license or ID, you'll get a choice between a lantern or a fan, and you'll also get a free mobile guide, which will tell you more about each of the lanterns as you're going around the gardens. Okay, it's like if you're at a museum, you can kind of get the guided mm -hmm, tour exactly. so you know what's going on. That's awesome. Okay, well, thank you so much for being here today. It sounds like a great event. Um, get a full rundown of all the special events at this year's China Lights Festival by going to chinalights.org. And the jam is going to give you at home a chance to go. So you can win tickets. Just go to the Burner Botanical Gardens and an overnight stay at the Crown Plaza Milwaukee Airport. Enter for your chance to win at thejamtvshow.com.